hi guys and welcome on back to my channel it's me Samarella and today I'm gonna bring you a brand new episode of the troublemaker episode 3 now if you are new and you are just joining in this is the troublemaker series it's the troublemaker scenario that the Sims 4 had just put out um, I'm playing this with my sim Tessa uh, she's the only child and she's here with her father and her mother somewhere else in the house So it's just Tessa and her parents and the troublemaker scenario is basically She's a troublemaker. She just moved into town. We are in Brenton Bay and She needs to get her grades up uh, She needs to be better basically and I also did add a couple of extra challenges to it just to give it a little bit more drama a little bit more fun and yeah so if you like what you see you know definitely hit that subscribe button hit the bell for new content like comment whatever you want to do and thank you so much for joining me this episode you guys are going to see some new items you're definitely going to see some new sims um the other day i asked you guys on twitter if anyone had any new restaurants and you guys gave me so many things um, there were over like a hundred gallery IDs I went through them all um, if you don't see any any of your stuff today um, doesn't mean I'm not gonna add them into any uh, future episodes or they probably will end up in my human enough series or my flower legacy series But for right now, I just want to show you guys some very cool No CC gallery art from little Fox simmer. I Love this gallery art and as you guys know, I am a vanilla player So anything new like this especially no CC gallery art. I just love cuz dad over here. He is just a silly old he's just a dad <laughs> like he tries to like be strict with Tessa and he is but he comes off so wrong you know it's like he's disciplining her but he's not disciplining her in the right way he's mean about it but you know hopefully they can talk and so far so good so Oh, she's teasing. Are you teasing him about those silly gummy pancakes? You know you love them. That's why he made them for you because those are your favorite. You've loved them since you were a child. Mom's up. Mom, what you doing? Mom is cleaning. She is a neat freak. Mom, are you hungry? Because you could join this conversation too if you like, Mom. Grab some silly pancakes. Oh, no. I see a little negative. All right, what's going on? Embarrassed. She's embarrassed. What are you embarrassed about? Awkward encounter with your own with your own father. How can that be awkward? You know what? Well, let's start with something simple. Ask Dad how his day is. Oh, get to know your own father. My God. She's talking about school. She's talking about how things are coming along. She's feeling a little bit better now that she's met a couple of people, and. She also had met Greta, uh, and we'll see Greta a little bit later. Greta is really a hard-working student. Maybe that's rubbing off a little bit on Tessa. Okay, so we're going to get Tessa ready, and she's going to go meet everyone at the cafe. Okay, so we are at the cafe, and this cafe is a cafe that I love. This is by Maze Bat. Um, it's a cute little cafe, a nice place to chill and hang out. Um, and Tessa's here. She invited the troublemakers. It's a club. And the new girl, Ashley Perez, is right over here. Let me turn around. There she is. And this and this girl, she came with a mom. They moved from New Orleans because they are living in a New Orleans type of home. Um, in Brinterton Bay though and her name is Ashley Perez now Ashley Perez um, her aspirations she wants a big family in the future she's a bit lazy but she's a good girl okay so those are her traits and yeah so let's get started here her and Tessa are joking around I think her and Tessa are gonna really be good friends 
so everyone's arriving there is Greta there is Yoki there is Ko Koyoshi um, we waiting for one more Violetta and I will introduce you there she goes a little bit about Violetta yes her name is Violetta in fact her name is Violetta Audubonny Violetta Audubonny um, she actually lives right across the way from Tessa in Brinterton Bay um, she lives there with her mom and her little sister she studies um, spellcraft and sorcery she is a super duper nerd she is really intelligent she's kind of a little know-it-all like and she is one of the most popular girls in school um, but she's a little bit erratic and she's a neat freak and those are her traits so she and she's a quick learner so those are her traits um she and tessa were in science class together they were actually um uh partners lab partners and she kind of is keeping a close eye on tessa tessa thinks she's a little she's genuine in trying to like become her friend and she could be but violetta is a little sus yes she is okay so let's continue on. Let everyone get inside, hang out. Let's see. And I love Bridgerton Bay because it's always like little stray cats and dogs always walking around. Okay, so we are in the cafe. Like I said, look at this cafe, y'all. I didn't really change anything. The only thing I added was these three little computers. The, the desk were already there. And um, downstairs, there is a downstairs, um, because that's where the bathroom is. I added a little TV and um, a game station. That's it. But everything is as it comes off the gallery. So, yeah. So, the cafe is by Maze Bat. Don't forget, download. Go check out Maze Bat. All right. Uh, so, where is Tessa? She is in playful mood. She kind of, let's have you sit down over here and let's just chit chat with everybody. Um, let's talk to Violetta. Let's just get to know her. Everyone's hanging out, just chilling. They are hacking away because they are all hackers. So Violetta's, um, Catching Tessa up on everything that has been going on around the neighborhood to be the perfect parent. So, if they do have a baby, maybe Tim and Ella will ease up on Tessa. And Tessa will see that they are like, kind of like not all in her business. And maybe she will like start to do things on her own and then realize you know that she needs to do better so maybe if ella and tim did have a baby it would be the best thing for tessa even though she doesn't know it yet but it may be so i'm gonna have tessa say you should decide for yourself so let's see because if she says try for the baby okay that's that's automatic but then if she says no then it might ruin the relationship but if she kind of stays neutral it could go either way so you know what i mean so we're not committing but okay so let's do it like that you should decide for yourself okay so that's what she said to her mom Decide for myself, that's too hard. Okay. So Tessa really is getting to know Violetta. Violetta's giving her all the juicy gossip. Um, a lot of the teens here, um, they all live in different areas. Like Greta is from Tortosa. Yoki is from Windenburg. Kayoshi is from... Um, yeah, that snowy skate world. 
But anyway, but they all go to school in Bridgerton Bay. Bridgerton Bay is like a boarding school. And those who actually live in Bridgerton Bay, they, they live at home and they go to school. And the rest of everybody else, they all live in school and go to school there. Okay, guys, we are here at the Tea Spot. Tea Spot is a Mexican restaurant, a really nice hangout by my girl, Gia XO, XO. And uh, yeah, so um, Tessa is very angry. Don't know why she's angry. She is pissed off. Look at that face. She's pissed off. I think she's pissed off because Kayoshi has been spending more time with Greta than Tessa. Tessa assumed that she was the only one Kayoshi was kind of like talking to, but no, she is not. Um, and that's what Violetta was trying to tell her because Violetta, Violetta here was telling Tessa at in the cafe that Kayoshi is kind of like a player. Like she even dated Kayoshi at one point. So yeah, so she's pissed off and it says basically, she, I mean, obviously Tessa is a hothead. So she's a hothead sim. She just can't keep her anger um, hitting. So, you know, her, she shows all her cards, all her cards are out, her face, all her emotions is just like right there. Okay, we are waiting for our food. Tessa is getting so angry because uh, Kayoshi is over there by the bar with his cousin. I forgot her name, Kiara. And basically, he's avoiding all these young ladies because he don't want to get caught in a lie. I didn't know it was like that, Kyoshi. All right, Tessa calmed down a little bit, so that's good. Hey, we got food, yay. All right. Trying to get a better angle so I can get everybody. Okay. All right. Oh, he. No, you did not take your glass and go back over there. Yes, he did. Excuse me, he's not gonna sit down with us. They're all like, look, they all sh they all stunned. He just took his stuff and left. And sat over there at the bar. Kiara too. Kiara and Kiyoshi. How dare you? That is not. That is not cool. Tessa's like so over it. All right. So part of my extra challenge, Tessa is supposed to date two people at the same time, um, without either one finding out. She can't even get a boyfriend. <laughs> she can't get a boyfriend. Um. So. I don't know, maybe one of the ladies, I have no idea, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to make a couple of teen guys, or if, hey, if any of you got a nice cutie, a cute teen guy, you know what to do, drop your gallery ID and let me find them for Tessa, because, yeah, we need to complete that challenge, but alright, everyone's here, they, the girls are hanging out, Kayoshi, they done with you. They should kick you out the club, Kyoshi. Mmm. And, yeah. So, Violetta's like, yeah, you see, I told you. And Greta's like, well, you know, I mean, Kyoshi is kind of, he's, he is a decent guy. They are just like, they chatting it up, these girls, telling all Kyoshi's business. Violetta's telling her about how him and her used to date, and everything was going so good and so well, until Kayoshi met one of the cheerleaders, and it all went downhill from there. But they still friends, though. And Violetta's like, I ain't got time for that. I'm going to Britchester University, and when high school is over, I'll never have to see him ever again. And Greta's like, saying, saying. And Yuki is like, I can't believe I'm here. Look at Yuki. She's like, mm. She's just listening. She's like, yeah. Oh, 
All right, guys, we are at the club, and this club is by Ravelin76. This is a really nice club. I love this fire water. So, yes, yeah, uh, Tess is here with everyone. You know, all the troublemakers, even Kyoshi, everyone's here. Everyone's going inside. They're going to just hang out. Show your moves, girl. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that in the Sims. Uh, go Tessa, go Tessa, go Tessa. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so maybe Bridgerton Bay is not that bad after all. Tessa is, oh. Tessa really is enjoying herself. She likes teasing Kyoshi. She's like, step aside everybody. We about to battle. She trying to get up on Tessa like that. Girl, it's 4.30 in the morning. Your little behind better go home right now. Why is everybody in this? They ain't there. We're together. That's what it is. The club is shutting down. DJ has left. Everybody is going home. All right, you guys, Tessa just got home. Dad is out on the porch. Old school, Dad is out on the porch waiting for Tessa to get home. But he's such a cornball. Look at him. What's he gonna say? Hi, Dad. Tessa, you know better. You know it's almost morning time. You know you should have called your mom or me and let us know you was going to stay out late. Oh, she's a little upset. She's so tired. And that that was it, Dad? That was the talk? Where you going? She don't even want to go in the house. She's going on the bench. Did he kick her out? Why is she sleeping on the bench? Why does that cat have a sweater on? What is happening? All right, mom. Oh, it's time for school and work. It's Monday. That's even worse. Tessa. Mom needs to come. Mom, mom needs to come and talk to you. Mom. No, this is not time to be flirty with Tim. Okay, so he's telling her, okay, I talked to Tessa. Um, she is just too tired to even talk to her. I tried to talk to her. She knows we're upset with her. She knows she has a new curfew. And mom is like, oh, that's so hot. I love it when you can discipline. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, let's do that. Let's have Tessa come home. That, because she can't be in school like that. She's going to really fail. Um, leave school early. Yes. She's leaving school early. She's coming home. And that's it. She's sad. You could be sad if you want to. Who are you? Why is she sad? Because she left school early? Time to wear black. Sad because I'm sad? You wouldn't understand. Nobody would understand. Well, I tell you what, Tessa. You're a little behind. Hung out really late with your friends. You came home. You got in trouble. And now you have a curfew. I will. Get something to eat and then take a nap. Is this any good? Those gummies are still good from from yesterday. That gummy pancake is still good. Oh gosh, she's so sad. I am so over Tessa and her moodiness. So this library here is by Iggelhaft. And then this sim that um, Tessa is talking to, her name is Carissa Evans and she is by The Latin Simmer. Um, 
Tessa's still a little bit sad, but she knows she's got to get her act together. So she told her parents she was going to the library, supposedly to study. So she's talking to Carissa. Carissa's a young adult, so she's kind of like, you know, maybe a, an older influence. So ask her for some advice, Tessa. She wants to ask Carissa for some advice because basically Tessa's messing up even though she's trying not to, but it's just, I don't know. She's a teenager. She's like, what should I do? It's like every time I try to do the right thing, I end up somehow doing the wrong thing. It's sad. Her friends come to her rescue. There's Violetta trying to make her feel a little bit better. Um, but Violetta has some information for Tessa, which is really going to make her really sad. Um, so Leah, let's get everybody into the library. Let's have Tessa work on some homework because that's why she's there. Okay, and she is talking to Ashley, I think, right now. Okay, so Ashley right now is, t there's Kyoshi. Speaking of the devil. Hey, Tessa. It's Kyoshi. Yo. <laughs> Do you want to hang out tonight? And she's like, Kyoshi, I got in so much trouble for hanging out last night with my parents. I'm trying to keep things really calm. You know, I'm trying to be a good girl. I can't go out with you tonight, Kyoshi. I'm at the library right now with Ashley and Violetta. So no. Kyoshi hung up anyway. Basically, Ashley was is telling Tessa that after the club when everybody went home, she seen Kyoshi and Greta making out. Yep. Who's calling dad? And wait a second. Where is dad? Why is Kyoshi calling dad? Dad is late for work. How can he be late for work? Dad! <gasps> Tim, I didn't know you was out here. And where you get that laptop from? Oh, he is watching his daughter. He's watching his daughter. Who got a promotion? Mom got a promotion? Oh, she's now a legal secretary. All right, Mom. Okay, so... I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah. So, all right. Oh, yeah, Mom got a promotion. Dad reached level two in mischief. Okay, Tessa's doing her homework, Dad. You're late for work, apparently. So you should just go to work. I thought you already went to work today. Oh, now he works from 3 to 11. Oh, he's a caterer now. Dad must have gotten a promotion. Okay, so you could go. Go to work, Tim. Tessa is just so, like, she doesn't care about this homework. I think she's pretending. See that? See how soon as Dad left? She closed up the book. She, 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 she's pretending to do her homework. She couldn't give two diddly squats. Oh, that, this is Violetta's mom. Her name is Marisol, I believe. That's Violetta's mom over there. Okay. Let's see what the girls are up to. Yoki's like, I can't believe you guys told her. That's totally wrong. You don't even know for sure if, if, if Kayoshi was making out with Greta. You have no idea. Yuki is so upset right now at the... Okay, here comes Tessa. The talk has changed, obviously. What is wrong? Yuki is so pissed off. She really is mad. She's arguing with Violetta. Saying that you guys should never have came here and told Tessa about Kyoshi. We came here to help Tessa feel better because Tessa got in trouble. For hanging out with us. 
Tessa's like, you guys really think I'm upset about Kyoshi? I couldn't care less of who he's with or who he wants to be with. So she's trying to play it off like she really doesn't care. But, you know, Tessa kind of actually cares a little bit. But, you know, being a new girl, you don't want, you know, your new friends to think that you, you, you're you punk like that. <laughs> you don't want them to think that, that you actually care. He's coming, so maybe she could confront him. Will he milestone complete? Okay, she did it. She did it. So now we have new two new aspirations to achieve. Talk about the club with five club members. Achieve level five in charisma. So she's got to work on her charisma. There's Kyoshi and Greta both coming in at the same time. These two think they are slick as hell. Pretending like they're not together, but they together. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tessa's out there. She doesn't even want to, like, hang out with them, honestly. She really doesn't. She's like, I'm over it. I'm over everyone and everything. Oh, my goodness, guys. So, we achieved a lot today, basically, um, with Tessa. I mean, she's got a whole bunch of friends and a whole bunch of drama. We do have to get Tessa to date at least two people at the same time. I don't think it's going to be Kyoshi, or it could be, but I'm looking for another teen sim. Um, her relationship with her parents are kind of still a little iffy because she did get in trouble. So, yeah. So, for the next episode, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, Tessa can get it together. She won't be a troublemaker. She'll get her grades up, and everything will be okay but you know what this is the sims baby anything could happen so i'm cinderella and thank you so much for joining me today like i said before if you knew you like what you see please definitely subscribe below and thank you so much for everyone who has came through and have you know always come and support me in my channel yay all right guys thanks so much i'm simarella and i am signing out bye